What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this amp lock coupler lock. Now this is going to be for a rolled lip coupler and works with ball size up to 2 or 2 and 5 sixteenths. What's going to do is slide over the front of your coupler and keep it locked up when you're not around, that way nobody can mess with it. Let's check it out. This is the rolled lip we're talking about. So sometimes it has a flat lip that comes out. This one's rolled so it's up and elevated just a little bit and that's what this was made for to slide right over. You just push the cylinder underneath and now it's locked in place. Nobody can pull up here and put a ball or hook up to your trailer. So this, in combination with this, makes sure that nobody can hook up to it. Looking at the coupler, a little closer, you can see as I move it around, it stays pretty close to that coupler. There's not much of a gap here on the sides or the front. There's a little bit, and we're gonna test that out with a pry bar. Let's see if I can get it in the front. Looks like it will grab there just a little bit, but not much. You see, I can't really get down there and probably not for very long, it pops right back out. And then on the sides, looks like I can get a little bit of more hold there, but that rolled up lip is really keeping me from getting under there and prying on the lock itself. Now we have it on a two inch coupler. The last one we had was a two and five sixteenths, so I just wanted to show you the size difference just in case you have this trailer instead. It's a lot like the other one. It's on there pretty tight. You can get a little bit more movement. Seems like there's a little more gap on the side. Let's get the pry bar and check that out. See, I can pull that in there, but once again, it's pushing up against that rolled lip more than it is the lock, so it's not really prying that out. And get a little bit in there. Let's look up front. There doesn't seem to be too much of a gap up front. I don't know if I can... Yeah, it gets in there just a little bit, but again, it's pushing up on that lip, not so much the lock. Looking at the bottom of the coupler here, just wanted to show you the cylinder lock. We got the key inserted. Now, there's gonna be a bunch of different key combinations. They say about a million, so chances are no one's gonna have the same key, you will. So you just put the key in there and turn it. The cylinder comes out, that lets you know it's unlocked. You can slide it off there. This, on the inside, is the cylinder, so when you push it up, it goes up into the coupler and kind of acts like a ball, and that's what locks it into place. You also have this on the bottom so that nobody can access that open spot, so it's nice, it covers that up and locks it into place on the inside. The cylinder lock is very secure, it's going to be really difficult to drill into it or pick it, so it's just going to save you. I think people are just going to walk up and look at it and go, I'll just mess with the next one that doesn't have a lock on it. Speaking of the construction of the lock, it's going to be made out of a cast iron, so you know it's going to hold up to those elements just fine. You don't have to worry about rust or corrosion. Also, it's going to be shock absorbent, so if somebody was to hit it with a hammer or something, it would absorb that shock and be less likely to break. Looking at the inside here, it's going to work with a maximum width coupler size of four and three quarters inches and also it's going to work with a max lip thickness of one inch so just keep that in mind we're looking at this and look at the trailer you're going to put it on make sure it's in those parameters so it's going to work overall i think it's going to be awesome and super helpful to have on your coupler kind of like i said before two things is it's going to work really good in combination with a latch lock too that way when people are walking by they see the latch lock they see this lock here on the coupler and they go I'm just going to go to the next one that doesn't have anything on it because that's going to be too difficult and noisy to even try and break off of there. Well, that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.